episode was actually pretty good. Hey guys, Exodark1 here with another episode of The Brain Train, the weekly show where I enter the brains. Here we are, within the brains. Uh, and I talk about the weekly show, Yu-Gi-Oh! Brains. So let's hop onto the brain train and talk about turn 41, Playmaker, Dueling Revolver. Finally, that's not the title, but let's talk about it. So, yeah, this actually, so we had a pretty, we had a big recap to start the episode. Episode started up, we saw, it was like a, a mini recap episode. You know what I mean? It was a recap, but it was like all the last duels. Like, we, we saw the ending of Blue Angel's duel. We saw the ending of fucking, you know, uh, Go's duel. We, we, we basically saw the duels leading up to the where we're at now, which is basically Revolver and Playmaker about to fucking go off at each other. There stood there with playmakers like, I'm not gonna let you have your way anymore, you prick. I'm gonna, that's it. That's it. Taking you out of the picture. Revolver's like, right then, follow me. And a, a data storm sort of appears and they, they hop on their boards and off they go. And it's gonna be a speed duel. I didn't see that coming. I, I mean, I, I did say, that there's probably going to be a speed duel, but I honestly thought it was going to be a master duel and then a speed duel, because I thought it was going to start off like a normal duel and then work into a speed duel, but no, they were, they flew up into the, where the spire was, they flew right into it, and uh, as they get there, the cameraman's tail disappears, he gets hit by some debris, basically showing us that, yeah, if you get hit by this debris, it's going to mess you up, it's going to mess you up big style, but you better be wary better be wary so they're being careful so yeah it's essentially a speed duel between playmaker and revolver as you know going through all that shit flying through all that bracken and all that mess and start and 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 this is our duel this is the beginning of it playmaker has the opening turn he, he goes nuts you know he summons three monsters straight away gets out of your code talk at first turn gets set back up secretary out boom he's got a 2800 attack point monster Beastly. Beastly! And he's ready. And then Revolver, before making his move, he's like, yo, your playmaker, got to ask you something right now. Did, uh, do you know why we need to kill Ignis? Do you know what? Do you, has he even told you? And he's like, well, when I got him, he lost most of his memories. And Revolver's like, funny that, because when we actually took data from Ignis, none of that was pertained to his memory. None of the data we had when we were from that we took from Ignis, you know, suggested it was his memory, which means he must still have his memory. And then he was like, and then you know, he's, so he's looking at Ignis. He's like, what? He's like, yeah. I mean, he's basically lied to you, saying he doesn't have all his memories. And then we find out that Ignis is one of these AIs that, out of all the six kids that were um, that were used in that experiment, those six kids, these AIs were created from those six kids. So they, they basically, they, they made those six kids duel and through those, through that, they somehow created six AIs with free will and the Ignis, and they're like, oh, they're all attuned to one particular person and the Ignis is actually attuned to you, Playmaker. Because obviously Revolver knows who Playmaker is now, so he obviously knows which kid it was, and then he's like, yeah, the Ignis is actually coded to you. You're the one that created, he, you know, essentially saying that Playmaker, you know, Yusuke, as he was, he, as when he was a kid, and he was in that room, the AI that he made was Ignis. And he's like, yeah, the Ignis, he made, uh, he made, he made the Cyberverse world for, for, for all the other AIs to live freely in, and, and protect them and whatnot. But the fact he's able to lie to you, and he's capable, an AI that's capable of lying, that's... And you know what? He's got a point. That's scary. If your computer is getting to the point where it is actually going to lie to you, that is scary. That is some scary, scary shit. And he's like, that's why we've got to destroy because he's getting too powerful. And he's basically like, he's been lying to you all this time. And all the while, Ignis is like... Fucking shit. Shit. But then he's like, all right, look, let's be honest. Yes, I do have all my memories. And yes, when you captured me, of course I knew who you were straight away. But the problem is, I couldn't trust you either. 
you know, I couldn't trust you. I couldn't, you know what I mean? I was, you know, I didn't know you. I didn't know who you were. I knew who you were. I didn't know who you were. You know, I, I couldn't trust you that you weren't going to say that. It's like, you know, but then, but then Playmaker's like, well, I don't really give a shit about the Ignis. And he's like, what? What about our friendship? What about this relationship we've built up? Playmaker being a pretty cold-hearted prick right now. He's like, to be honest, mate, I've never considered you a friend. You have been nothing but a hostage. I, you are a tool that I am using. I, I have no caring about what you are. Or he's like, I honestly don't give a shit. He's like, I, he's like, I don't. He's being pretty cold, and I think yeah, I think that's the dynamic of the relationship. Like, Yusuke is all cold and doesn't really understand. He's never had, because of his childhood. Ignis is kind of the personality that. Yusuke can't be, I guess, but yeah, he was pretty cold to Ign to, to Ignis. Unless it turns out it's one of those sweet things like in Steins Gate, where like he, he does consider him a friend, but he calls him a hostage. You know, like the professor, you know, like the guy, the scientist from Steins Gate, and the girl, and she's his hostage, but she's not really his hostage. Just to be honest, that's just what he said. Maybe it's something along. Maybe I don't think he is because Yusuke really doesn't seem like he gives a shit about the Ignis. Then Revolver actually pulls out a bit something different. He's like, to be honest, mate, none of this would be happening if you just given a fucking Ignis. He's like, damn, like he wouldn't have been doing all, none of this would have been happening if Playmaker had just given Revolver the Ignis. And I'm really wondering, because they need to justify why he didn't just do that. Like, I, I get that the way they're doing it, they're going a bit overboard with this whole being, them being villains, but they're kind of trying to protect humanity. But at the moment, I'm kind of rooting for Revolver. Like, at the moment, he's making more sense. And maybe that's the point. Maybe we're supposed to sort of be like, maybe Revolver's actually got a point here. Maybe Ignis isn't actually a good guy that we think he is. We're going to have to see. It's quite interesting. Revolver then takes his move. Fucking summons, summons spin, spin-headed behemoth. I like that. I like that little callback to Kyber. Oh, obviously, Kyber uses twin-headed behemoth. Kyber, you know, and so this guy, he's, he's now using spin-headed behemoth, which is basically like a robot, a robot version of, of twin-headed behemoth. I really liked it. I thought that was a nice little callback there to Kyber, and I appreciate it. So he summons out the attack mode and sets a card. And then, again, they make this whole big deal about Mirror Force. Now, it seems to me, it's starting to make more sense now with the Mirror Force, because... It seems like Revolver's strategy essentially revolves around him using Mirror Force to just wipe out hills. So, does that mean he's got more than one Mirror Force? Because Mirror Force is technically an unlimited card now. So, if they're following the rules of the current game, does that mean that Revolver has three Mirror Forces and he's going to knock all three of them out? That'd be great for me, who's currently working on a Revolver deck, and I get three Mirror Forces. So yeah, he sets, summons this card in attack mode, does that, and then Playmaker's like, right, I'm going to attack. It's obviously a trap, but he attacks anyway. But then he, he, he summons two more, Playmaker summons two more monsters in defense mode, but then attacks with Doki Cold Talker, and he's like, right, well, play Mirror Force. And again, big spectacle. Boo! And Playmaker's like, thanks to those guys. I now know he's got Mirror Force in his deck. Turns out, Spin-Headed Behemoth has got an effect. When it's attacked, all defense position monsters on your opponent's side of the field turn to attack mode. So when he played Mirror Force, he wiped everything out. Genius. Absolute genius. I liked it. I'm really starting to like his strategy revolving more around Mirror... You know, utilizing Mirror Force, but then having cards that basically make Mirror Force OP as fuck. Um... Revolver then summons a whole new uh, uh, Link Dragon and powers it up with another Dragon right under attack. Attacks with his big beast and then he has his other monster left. Ignis is like, if that 800 attack monster hits us, we're going to have like 100 life points left. Revolver's like, mate, this card gets an effect. When a monster, he powers up, inflicts battle damage, he gains 800 attack. So he gets a boost and he goes for the attack as well. And it's like, this is going to be the end of it all. <laughs> And the episode ends. This episode was pretty good. I like the duel. I like the history. I like learning more about the Ignis, more about the story. Quite an interesting twist about the Ignis actually having his memories and he's been leading Playmaker on. It, it makes you go, I wonder what's going on with that then. Um, obviously, I don't think Yusuke's going to lose. I think he's going to either have something in his hand or something in his graveyard or summer to be like, oh, negate. Uh, or, you know, I don't think he's going to lose just yet. Not in one duel. Not in one episode. And on, on Revolver's, what, second turn? I don't think so, somehow. So, he's got he's going to, next turn, I think this is going to be a good three-part duel. Maybe even four-part. I mean, this is the final duel of the arc. It has to be, really. 
But then again, that doctor's still mowing around, so he could do something. But overall, I really enjoyed this episode. I, you know, but I like Revolver. I'm, you know, I'm liking it. I, it was a good episode. I was, I was, I was gripped. You can kind of tell when an episode's gripped me more because I can talk about it in more detail. I've only watched it the one time. Don't forget. But the fact that I can talk about it in way more detail now means it had me more gripped than than, 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 the other, than any previous episode. That's how you can tell when an episode has gripped me because I can talk more about it. Like naming spin-headed behemoth. I was like, that stuck out. I like that. So, overall, good. Good. Thumbs up. Right, anyway, guys, I'd like to thank everyone again for joining us. I'd like to thank all our patrons uh, for, for helping out with the channel. If you want to be a patron, click in the link below. It'll take you to my Patreon page where we do like, I do like private streams and whatnot with you guys and you get, you know, we we'll try and talk to you more with you guys. It's all to support the channel. I'm trying to get better audio, maybe a new camera and some better stuff to make all this look a bit more legit. And it's all, and I'm trying to build, put it all back into this channel. So if you like this channel, if you like what I'm all about and you want to support me, just go to Discord. Oh, not Discord. Go to Patreon. I have a Discord as well, which I, which I do talking often. So Patreon, Discord, all that bollocks. It's all down there. Do all that shit. I'll see you all next time, guys.